Hello everyone. To analyze long tail object detection problem, we first run fast RSN on Elvis. Comparing with the result on Coco, large performance drop is observed, especially on the tail part. To investigate further how the performance degradation is induced by the data imbalance, motivated by this paper, we decouple the detection framework into proposal feature extraction and classification. We find that for long-tail datasets like Elvis, the norm of weights corresponding to class J is positively related to the number of training instances of that class, and the weight norms for tail classes are extremely small. We name it as classifier imbalance problem. So, the proposal score of tail classes will be congenitally smaller than head classes, which makes them hard to be selected as final results and lead to large performance drop. However, we still want to know why they are related. To answer this question, let's further inspect the training procedure. When proposals from class J are selected as training samples, ZJ should be activated, while the predictions for other categories should be suppressed. As the training instances for head classes are much more than those of tail classes, classifier weights of tail classes are much more likely to be suppressed by head class ones, resulting in balanced weight norm after training. So, we know why resampling and reweighting methods work. They either increase the instance number for tail classes or use different weights to balance the suppression to make their classifier more balanced. But resampling methods need extra training time and may also suffer from overfitting on tail classes, while reweighting methods are usually sensitive to the loss weight design. Thus, we design a simple balanced group softmax method. Specifically speaking, we first train the detector normally with standard softmax, and then we fix the feature extraction network and retrain the FC layer only. We put categories that have similar number of training instances into one group. The background class is a single group. To make groups aware that current training sample does not belong to categories in itself, a new category, others, is added to each of them. Then softmax is applied independently to each group. If current training proposal belongs to a category that is in group N, its corresponding label will be set to 1, while ground truth category for the rest groups will be set to others. In each group, we only sample a certain number of training instances belong to class others for gradient calculation. Balanced group softmax alleviates the correspondence between weight norm and instance number. So during inference, we first get the logits and then apply softmax to each group respectively and put them to the original position rescale with the overall foreground score and finally get a new probability for post-processing. Note that this is not a real probability since its summation does not equal to 1. Here are some main results. We transfer multiple SOTA methods for long-tail classification to the fast RSN framework with ResNet 50 FBN backbone and carefully adjust settings to make them suitable for detection. Our method outperforms all of them by a large margin. Then we extend our method to stronger backbones and frameworks. It also leaves the baselines a lot, especially for Cascade RCN framework. We use group softmax for all three heads and get 5.6 improvement. Next, compared with the current SOTA method for long-tail instance segmentation with the same mask RCN baseline, our model surpasses all of them including winners of Elvis 2019 challenge. Similarly, it works fine with stronger backbones and framework HTC. Overall, we get large performance gain on both object detection and instance segmentation on different backbones and frameworks on Elvis validation set, especially on tail classes, and achieve SOTA results for single model. Thanks for listening.